these wrestlers in Pakistan aren't just fighting each other. They're also fighting for the future of their sport. Four decades ago, Pakistani wrestlers were coming out on top with a string of gold medals in the Commonwealth and Asian Games. Much of that glory, according to the athletes and managers, was only possible through government and private investment. But those days are long gone. Pakistan once boasted around 7,000 professional wrestlers in the sport's heyday in the 1940s and 50s. Now, it's claimed, there are barely 300. Athletes say there are only a handful of these muddy wrestling courts, known as akaras, remaining. The old times were good. People had respect for wrestlers and liked them. People used to take them almonds and butter, as wrestlers did not have a lot of money and could not afford much food. But that has all changed. Wrestling is expensive, but there are fewer people willing to help. Abid Aslam Bolu comes from a family that has given Pakistan some of its most successful wrestlers since the 19th century. But he tapped out, choosing a career in business instead. When his brother died in 1991, the Bolu family's long line of wrestlers came to an end. Abid says that wrestling is simply not profitable enough to survive as a business in his homeland. Most of the Akaras have been closed. Very few people still go to them. Traditional wrestling is almost finished. But there is still a lot of passion. You should see it when a small wrestling tournament is organised. Stadiums fill up. But the wrestlers are just there because of their own passion and using their own resources. How long can they go on like that? The current generation of wrestlers has an extra weight to carry on their shoulders. They have to prove to themselves and others that there's more to sport in Pakistan than just cricket alone. Tom Santarelli, BBC News.